Ok, pero igual vamos a escuchar el audio en este video. Did you have a good weekend? Oh, yes, I did. Very good. What did you do on Saturday? Well, on Saturday morning, I went shopping. Then on Saturday evening, I went to a party. It was great. Who did you see at the party? Oh, one or two old friends. Did you go out on Sunday? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't go out because I was too tired. I stayed at home most of the day. Did you do anything on Sunday evening? No, I didn't do much on Sunday. I just watched a movie on TV. I didn't go to bed late, about 10 o'clock. Now, we are going to listen and repeat what didn't Angie do. Si decimos what didn't, quiere decir que no, porque es negativa. Que no hizo Angie. So, listen and practice. Act 7. I didn't go out because I was too tired. Repeat. I didn't do much on Sunday. I didn't go to bed late. So, You're going to practice this and you are going to send me an audio to the WhatsApp group. Remember, practice the pronunciation. I didn't. Dice, I didn't. No me van a enviar el audio diciendo, I didn't go out. It's out. Because I was too tired. I didn't go out because I was too tired. I didn't do much on Sunday. I didn't go to bed late. So send your audio to the WhatsApp group. Ready? Well, now in part number five, you're going to say three things that Angie and Rick didn't do. Que no hicieron. For example, Angie didn't play tennis. Rick didn't get up late. Aquí ya hay una cosa que no hizo Angie y una cosa que no hizo Rick. Aquí tienen más expresiones para hacer las oraciones. Remember negative. For example, Angie didn't go shopping. Rick didn't uh, listen to music. No pueden poner Rick didn't music. Después de didn't, tiene que seguir un verbo. Recuerden. So, write sentences in negative form about Angie and Rick. Dos para Angie y dos para Rick. Okay, write your sentences in this part. 